Now, from the network architecture side, what is the evolution that happened here? All the generations from 2G to 4G, from GSM to GPRS to UMTS to LTE, all have access networks. And as we said, in 2G, the access networks were BSC plus PTS. And in 3G, it was a node B plus RNC. And in 4G, I have the E node B. So that's from the access network side. But all of them have access networks. OK. So from the core side, or let's say before we say anything from the core side, the access networks in 2G, we used to call them the GSMH radio access network. But in 3G, it was the UTRAN, which is UMTS, which means the terrestrial radio access networks. Or let me rephrase the part again, I'm sorry. In 3G, it was UTRAN, which is the UMTS terrestrial radio access network. And in 4G, it's called EUTRAN, which is the enhanced UTRAN. And this is the access network part. Now, when I speak from the core side, you will find in GSM, I have only CS or CS core only. And I can do data sessions in CS core, but in very low rates. And in CS domain, in GSM, I could do voice calls. And CS domain was connected to the landline networks as packet switching telephone networks, or simply called the PSTNs. And in third generation, in GPRS, which is the extension of 2G, and MTS, which is the extension of 3G. And by these, I have CS and PS domains. And CS is connected to public switching telephone network, which is the PSTNs, and packet switching domain is connected on the external networks as the internet, for example. In enhanced 3G networks, I can connect on IMS networks. And I have a core of CS and PS domain. And this IMS is connected to PS. CS can be connected to public switching telephone network. And IMS can go to IP or go direct from PS domain to IP, which is the internet. In 4G or LTE networks, I have the access network EUTRAN connected on PS domain, which is EPC connected direct to either the internet protocol or IP, or EPC connected to IMS. And IMS can go to either the PSDN or internet. 